and welcome back to the Sugarly Shed Ground Works edition. Um, as you saw in the last episode, I would started digging the groundworks for the slab, the concrete slab that's going to be the base of Sugarly Shed Mark II. It was one hell of a journey. <laughs> uh, I think I calculated roughly that I've moved about 10 tonnes of soil. I don't know if you can quite fully appreciate how big that pile is, but it's sizable. Um, so finished digging that by hand and it was a total mission and I don't want to ever dig anything ever again, but it's done. Um, next up, what I did was laid some hard pack, sort of type one aggregate, put that down, leveled it with a compactor, compacted it all nice and solid, and then I put down a damp proof coarse membrane. Um, also built a block work wall along one side to retain my neighbour's garden, stop my neighbour's garden falling into my shed, <laughs> which is you know would be suboptimal. Um, so where we are is here. We've got the damp proof. Uh, membrane down and later today we're getting a concrete pour. So the point about a damp proof membrane is basically to stop the concrete slab drying out too quickly, uh, let it set properly, if it, if it dries too quickly there's a chance it could crack, but then also it's to prevent uh, moisture sitting under the slab and soaking into the concrete over the years and uh, degrading it and kind of breaking it down, I think that's that's the theory anyway. Um, I've also got a wooden formwork under here, which is basically going to hold the shape of the concrete slab as it gets poured. Um, but damp proof, that basically means waterproof, and as you can see it's raining today. So we have the beginnings of Trugley Shed swimming pool. So first job I guess is to try and clear some of this water before the concrete arrives, which could be fairly soon. Uh, so that's a bit of a task. I think it's okay to pour some, you know, to pour some concrete on top of but a bit of water, but possibly not this much standing water. So I'm going to get started with that. Feels like a wasted effort. They're trying to hold back the tides, isn't it? <coughs> um, that is what it is. I can't really do anything about it, so I guess I'm just gonna have to see what the concrete guys say. I think I think it should be okay, but um, like I say, I, I'm not an expert in concrete, so they're probably the best people to advise on it. Uh, they're still coming, and uh, they know what the weather's like, so they're coming in about an hour, I think. And um, so. If there was a problem, I suppose they would have cancelled by now. So, hey, I guess we'll find out what pouring concrete in the rain's like. Well, it didn't stop raining all throughout that. Uh, as you'll probably have seen, <laughs> we started raking it and then the dude took over because I uh, didn't know what I was doing and uh, gave him a little bit extra money for it and he did a much better job than I ever could. So thanks for that. Um, Fourth Valley Concrete, if you ever need them, really good guys. Um, super, super nice and friendly and they, they did a pretty good job pretty quickly. So pleased with that. Um, as you can see, I've now covered it in tarpaulins because uh, it's, you know, the heavens just haven't stopped opening all day. So I'm hoping there won't be too much damage due to the water. There's bound to be some, um, but nothing I'm, I can't skim or fix. Um, and again, it's going to be a garage floor. I'm not really that fussed as to how polished and smooth it is. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with, with even just getting the concrete in today. I wasn't even sure if it was going to be possible because of the rain. So. Yeah, I'm happy. Concrete's in, and that's the main thing. Well, it's the morning after the day before, and the slab has set uh, enough to walk on. It's um, you know, it's not fully cured for about a month, I think, something like that. Uh, but it's enough to walk on, and oh, it's a loud bird. <laughs> um, but it all looks good. Um, I'll just show you it now.
So there are a few imperfections where the rain's kind of pulled a little bit, but it's really actually surprisingly a lot better than I thought it was going to be considering the, the, the amount of rain we've had for the last two days. Um, so I'm really chuffed with that. The next job really is to start building the timber framework. So we're going, we're going vertical next, which is actually the bit I'm looking forward to the most because I feel like I'm the most comfortable with, with woodworking sides of it rather than the sort of foundation building side of it. So yeah, I'll probably say that for the next episode. I know this has been a bit of a short one, but you know, hopefully enjoyed seeing the concrete go down and uh, seeing this sort of start to take shape and get a good footprint for the building. As usual, give me a like, leave me a comment, and please do subscribe to the Shugly Shed channel. Uh, you can check out all my other videos on my channel there, uh, and keep in touch and keep watching for the progress on Shugly Shed Mark II. And uh, yeah, see you later. Bye.